Okay, yeah. So most things lose over 70, so it retains that. So having wool into your mix is good. Polypropylene is another good one. Why is polypropylene good? Pushes the wicks. Yeah, wicks. Avoid overheating. Why is it important to avoid overheating? Okay, what, what's wrong with sweat? Okay, it's in between the point where it's, where it's wet, between the time you sweat and the time it actually dries out. Okay. And the other big thing is it's not flame resistant. And a lot of times your outer layers are much more flame resistant. So if you're working around in anything that's got any type of hot heat or something like that. Same thing if you get it on your clothing. So I grab hand branches a lot of times protecting it dead. All right, because it's not doing the free any good. So I just come in here, I break off the whole thing. I got a mushroom. I got a mushroom. Don't poke my eyes. I'll try not to. <laughs> Now, now, this, so this stuff, not what we're looking for, okay? With this paper thin stuff right here, and, you know, I can stick it in there and leave it in there. Not a log cabin. It's actually gonna build. It's, it's there are actually different styles of fires for different things. I could build a trench. Um, what's a teepee? Why, why would I build a teepee? Because it's got the moisture in it. Put a hole in the bottom if it's, um, but hopefully it's a porous material, so it's a lot to drip through. You know, shove a stick in there in the bottom, so it creates a single. What's that? We got all the water we need, but what, what are you going to do? Heat it up. Why do we want to heat it up? I like the wrong side. 